This is SAT test 3, calculator question number 36, dealing with a system of inequalities. And the question is, if a point AB lies in the solution set, what's the maximum possible value of B, the Y coordinate? Since this is a calculator question, I'm going to graph it on my calculator. X, Y, I'm going to choose a Y maximum of 3,000 because that's the Y intercept there. And it has a slope of negative 15, which is kind of steep. And then this one has a Y intercept of 0, and a slope of positive 5, which is shallower than the negative 15. And since they're less than or equal to, I need to be less than negative 15x plus 3,000. And I also need to be less than negative 5x. So the solution set is the region that's less than both functions. And the maximum y value occurs at the intersection. So having graphed that on my calculator, I can just calculate the point of intersection, hit enter three times, and the calculator says my x, y coordinates at the point of intersection are x equals 150 and y equals 750, which gives us b equals 750. That's the answer to their question. Alternatively, I could solve this by hand. I don't know why you would want to if you have the calculator. But if you don't see how to use the calculator, at the point of the intersection, the two y values are going to be equal. So 5x equals negative 15x plus 3,000. Add 15x to both sides. And you get 20x equals 3,000. Divide by 20 x equals 3,000 over 20 is the same as 300 over 2, which is 150. If x is 150, I can substitute that in here to get y less than or equal to 5 times 150, or y less than or equal to 750. Since the maximum occurs at x equals 150, the y values will be less than or equal to 5 times that, less than or equal to 750, which is the answer I got on the calculator. College Board always asks at least six systems of equations problems, and typically one of them will be a system with inequalities. So it's important to be very comfortable with these. In this case, since they're solved for y and it's a calculator question, the easiest way was to graph it on the calculator and find the point of intersection there. But you should be familiar with a variety of methods. When I did it by hand, that was substitution. I took an expression for y and substituted that into the other equation. Come back soon for my next math video. With math, there's always more.